Well, glory to God. Praise the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Have a video of encouragement for, for believers, for those who have placed their trust and their faith in the Lord Jesus, who have um, welcomed Jesus into their hearts, who have loved on the Lord, who have accepted his free gift of salvation. Amen. This message is for you and I to stay encouraged in the Lord, to remember that when we began to walk with the Lord Jesus, that we understood that we have hope in him. We understand that we have hope in the Lord Jesus alone and that the world has nothing to offer us. Amen. And so we do understand, therefore, that the Lord Jesus Christ has everything that we ever need. Amen. And so knowing this, we know that we're not walking alone. The Bible tells us that the Lord Jesus sends the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, to walk with us, to dwell within us. Amen. And not only that, also to correct us, amen, along the way. So we may begin to send some messengers, other brothers and sisters in Christ, to warn us of our sin, to warn us of uh, our errors, amen. And so when we're convicted of these things, we lean on the Lord. We go to the Lord in prayer, you know. And so that's the job of the Holy Spirit, the comforter that Jesus sends to us, amen, believers that have placed our faith in him. Also, we are well equipped with the Lord Jesus. That's why we have this profound hope, y'all, that we can walk with the Lord and that we're not alone because he does assign his angels to us to minister to us through times of difficulty, disappointments, grieving times, anger, whatever situations we may be facing, even our joy of the Lord. We're admonished and we're, we're equipped and we're walking in order and line that the Lord will have us to walk in. Because God is a God of order. It is his will for his children to be well equipped. So therefore, we are assigned angels. Amen. So we don't have to feel like we're alone in this journey with the Lord Jesus Christ. We may feel alone. We may lose some friends along the way. We may even lose some family members that we can no longer contact or talk to anymore because of the persecution. But that comes in the territory when we walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. We're no longer of this world. So that's what makes us a peculiar people. The Bible tells us that the children of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are a peculiar people. You know, we are separated. We are set apart. Amen. And people want us to blend in with what they're doing. They want us to blend in what we're used to doing when we lived in sin. So when your family or your friends, your co-workers, whoever, see you walking in this light, this new light of the Lord Jesus, walking behind him, people get curious. But some people may also get angry on your walk. And it's not because of how you look or anything like that. It's because of your spirit. The spirit of the Lord Jesus dwells within you. You're radiating God's love. Amen. You're walking with the Lord Jesus. You're radiating God's love. You're abiding in him. You're reading your scripture. You're singing uh, songs, psalms, and hymns unto the Lord Jesus. That radiates on the outside. People can see that. Therefore, there will be all kinds of spirits that want to attach to you. But that's why we stay in step with the Lord. We stay in step with him. How? By reading his word continuously. By praying without ceasing. The Bible tells us to pray with, um, without ceasing, which means to not stop. So keep on praying and not to stop. We can pray through anything. We can pray through the good times, the not so good times, the challenging times, the times of temptation. That's when the Lord Jesus requires his children to cry out to him. We're encouraged to cry out to the Lord Jesus. We can see time after time again in the word of God how there were people that cried out to the Lord Jesus and he heard their cry. He hears their cry because they're humble before him, before his feet, amen. And so when we begin to humble ourselves unto the Lord, when we begin to kneel down and pray unto him, intercede, Lord, I need help in this area. Lord, I'm so weak, Lord, but you are so strong, amen. The Lord loves that because only God could change us. Only God can give us a new heart, amen, a new mindset, a new walk in this life, amen, and not something that we're used to. And so there's many people who may come across times where they feel discouraged because they may fall into some temptation or they may think of something, they may think of something sinful, but that's why we just turn to the Lord Jesus. We don't stop, we don't halt there, we don't, we don't lose confidence there because we can realize, hey, I have the Lord Jesus, I am weak. But where I am weak, the Lord Jesus is strong. Amen. And so we have that confidence in him because, yes, when we are weak, 
God is most definitely the strongest. All glory goes to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because he is strong. He gives his children hope. He gives us a new life. Amen. We're walking in newness of life. Those of us who have turned to Jesus, who have realized that our sin was taking us further than we wanted to go, that we realized that our sin would have us separated from the Lord Jesus, that it brought us no peace. It brought us uh, complete destruction. Amen. It brought us not no peace. We know these things, and we know that walking with the Lord, He gives us hope. He gives us peace. Are we going to be persecuted? Absolutely. Are we going to be hated? Absolutely. Are things going to be thrown at us? Absolutely. You know, whether that's uh, disrespect or um, false prophets or false tongues, anything of that nature that, you know, is contrary to God will come thrown at us. Why? Because you're walking in the light of Jesus Christ. So let's stay encouraged in the Lord. Let's continue in prayer, continue in his word, continue seeking his word and making sure that we're around good company. The Bible tells us about good company because bad company corrupts good manners. Amen. So if you're walking in the ways of the Lord and yet you're walking with people who are, I'm not saying people who are stumbling or who's coming to Christ and, and they're, they're serious like you are. I'm talking about the people who have made up in their minds that I don't need God. God does not exist. They will say many different things. These are the type of people that the Lord uh, warns us that we can't be around. Amen. And so we can't save. Only Jesus saves. So what we can do is pray for people. We can pray for the lost. Amen. But while we're here in the Lord Jesus, we know that he's the true and one and only living God. Amen. And so the Lord sends, remember y'all, the Lord sends his angels to minister to us. The Lord ministers to us himself in his word. That's why we have to continuously read, read God's word. Amen. It's not about who's the most anointed, who could preach the best, who could say this the best, who has the best testimony. Jesus has the best of everything. Amen. So we go to the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, through all things concerning our lives. Amen. And if we have prayer words that will pray alongside with us, and it's not a shame to kneel at the feet of Jesus. That's, that's what we need. Amen. That's the type of encouragement we need. Nothing else, no, nothing more, nothing less. We need someone, if we're going to have people around us, that's just as serious about us as we are in our walks. Amen. And so let's continue to stay grounded. Let's continue to stay humble. Let's continue to stay at the Lord Jesus Christ's feet. Amen. Because that's where he, we will meet the Lord at his feet. Amen. And prayer and supplication. Doors closed. Just you and the Lord spending time with him. Amen. And avoiding distraction, distraction of this world, distraction of entertainment, social media, all these distractions that we have around us. We could avoid that. Amen. We just stay humble in the Lord, singing songs unto the Lord, meditating on his word day and night. Hallelujah. And so the Lord speaks to his children at all times. He sends his angels to minister to us. Amen. He also sends brothers and sisters in Christ. Also, to encourage us along the way to, um, again, to correct us of our errors as well. Amen. If it aligns with, with the word of God, of course. And so I hope you guys stay focused. I hope you guys keep your hope in the Lord Jesus and uh, praying for the ones who may have turned away from the Lord due to church hurt, due to circumstances, due to poor representation of Jesus Christ. Maybe some of us have poor representation of Jesus Christ around us. But we have to remember that Jesus, only Jesus is the author and finisher, finisher of our faith. Therefore, we are to place our faith and our hope in him. Our walk with Jesus is very important. It's not about what someone else is doing, their failures thereof, but it's about what we're doing and, and making sure that we keep our hearts and our minds fixed on the Lord Jesus. Amen. And so praying for those who have church hurt, praying for those who have turned and backslid from the Lord. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. I could say that boldly. I could say that very surely. Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Four years ago in July, the Lord Jesus Christ shook my world. It had, my life has never been the same. I've never sustained such peace. I've never thought I would be in this place in my life right now where I'm just settled in my spirit. It is well with my soul, where I'm just calm. Everything is just like, no, there, there are hardships, but I'm just settle in the Lord. I know that I, everything will turn out well. Amen. And I know that I have a hope in the future in Jesus Christ. 
So that's what's different now, before and after, amen. Before it was a wreck, before it was chaos, before my life was in confusion. But now my life is in order. My life has discipline. My life has meaning. Amen. Only because of Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ has the power to set any of us from sin. Amen. So don't don't believe the hype of people saying, oh yeah, you're going to keep doing this and do that. The, the Bible says, whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And so we have to remember what Jesus says. We have to believe on what he says. Amen. The Bible tells us about belief belief in the Lord. So if we were to follow him, we have to believe that what he says is true. Amen. So y'all stay encouraged in the Lord Jesus.